is Safer Internet Day 2021 and every year we celebrate Safer Internet Day and today it's fallen on Tuesday 9th of February. So today we're going to celebrate the internet and all the amazing things that the internet can do because at the moment a lot of you are relying on the internet for your online lessons, um, for getting your home learning packs, um, but also for having fun, streaming things to watch online at home, keeping in touch with your family and friends. The internet is an amazing, amazing thing. Um, but to enjoy all the things that the internet can offer us, all the fun and enjoyment that we can get out of the internet, we need to make sure we know how to stay safe on the internet as well. Just like if you're walking down the road in real life, um, you'd need to remember how to stay safe, how to cross the road properly. Then online, we need to follow sort of similar rules um, to stay safe online. Because you might be sitting in your living room or sitting in your bedroom and using the internet and you feel perfectly safe because you're in your home. But actually, the internet, unless we use it safely, can sometimes be a dangerous place. So um, today we're going to learn about simple things to remember that we can do to stay safe on the internet. And once we know how to stay safe on the internet, we can enjoy all the amazing things that the internet can offer. So today I'm going to talk to you about some characters and they are called smart bots. OK, and smart bots are really, really good at staying safe online. So here's our smart bot and our smart bot. You might notice the smart in smart bot is in capital letters, and that's because each of the letters for smart stands for something. And if we remember what each one stands for, it can help us keep safe online. So how can we be smart? Well, the S in smart stands for safe. Remember, it's safe for Internet Day, so that S is really easy to remember. S stands for safe. What about M? Meeting. We're going to learn about mm, what to do if someone maybe wants to meet with you if they've met you online. The A is about accepting. So uh, do we open things that people send to us or should we stop and think? R is for reliable and that means is the, are the things that we get online, is the information we get online reliable? Where does it come from? Who's made it up? Um, maybe someone not everyone online um, is who they say they are so that's what r stands for and then t is about t stands for tell so um, we're going to go through each of these letters individually now but i want you all to remember when you're using the internet think about being smart okay so let's start with s so the s like i said stands for safe it's all about keeping your personal information safe you wouldn't walk down the street and um, tell everybody that you meet uh, your name, uh, your date of birth, where you live, where you go to school. Um, you wouldn't go down the street and tell everybody that to complete strangers. Well, we need to do the same when we're online. So we need to check that the websites that you're using are secure. Are they keeping your information safe? Be careful about what you say if you're chatting with someone online. We should never share our personal information because that information is yours. So you shouldn't be using sharing your full name or your date of birth or where you live or where you go to school um, because that information is for you and you only and you want to keep that private because there's people out there on the internet that want to take that information and use it for other things. So keep your information private. OK, and this is really important. Whatever you do, you should never pass on your passwords to anyone. Those passwords are your secret. They're what you need to get into all the things that you love, um, you know, all the games you like playing online, all the things that you need for school. Those those passwords are just for you. So you need to keep them safe. So the S stands for safe. Let's go on to meeting now. So the M stands for meeting and this is about making friends online is really fun. But if you're thinking about ever meeting up with them, you need to be really, really careful. You should only ever meet with someone you met online um, with a parent or carer's permission. And that parent or carer needs to come with you if you want to meet them. But you, even then, you need to be really, really careful about um, if someone starts to make friends with you online. Um, because if you don't know that person in real life, they might not be who they say they are. OK, so when chatting online, don't agree to meet with anyone. OK. A stands for accepting. When you receive an email or an instant message with an attachment or a link, 
you need to think really carefully about whether it's safe to click on the attachment or if it's safe to click on the link. Maybe it's from someone you don't know. If it's from someone you don't know, then you shouldn't open it. You need to be smart. If it looks like it's from someone you know, but the attachment or subject or what's in the email seems a bit strange and odd, again, don't open it, don't accept it. These rules apply when you click on a link in an email or message. So here's a text message that you've got. And it's look, it's from, I don't know this person, it's just um, a made up word. And it says, hi, check out these cool pictures and get free stuff. You are my friend. Oh, they've spelled friend wrong. So there's a few things there that are making me think I'm not going to click on these cool pictures because one, I don't know who it's from. That's not somebody I know. Um, the other thing that's making me think this is a bit strange is they're offering me free stuff. Now, I don't think people really offer free stuff that easily. So that's making me think mm, I'm not going to click on these cool pictures. And then at the bottom, they've put you are my friend, but they've spelled friend wrong. There's a spelling mistake there. So I'm definitely not going to click on those cool pictures because what it might be is a virus. It might be something that's going to damage your computer or your smartphone or your tablet. So accepting is really important. Don't accept anything unless you know who it's come from and what you're clicking on. And if you're not sure, you can speak to an adult. The R stands for reliable. And something important to remember is that people online are not always reliable. Um, people online can pretend to be other people. People online can say things that aren't true. So anyone online can say anything. So it's about being smart and thinking about what's reliable. So think about where are you getting your information? For example, if you're doing a school project and you needed to research polar bears, you need to go to official websites to find out things that are true about polar bears. You couldn't you shouldn't just go to any old website because people can put anything online and it may not even be true. Anything you read can be un, can be unreliable and um, it may be false. So try to use the best thing to do is try and use official websites that you know um, will will try and fact check and check all the information on that website is correct. OK. And the last one is really, really important. I mean, if you remember anything, it's about T, which stands for tell. So if you're ever worried, uncomfortable, or you just have some questions about something you've seen online, the number one rule is to tell someone. You can tell your parents, you can tell whoever looks after you, you can tell your teachers, you can tell any trusted adult, you can tell any member of staff in the school. Um, if you're at home at the moment and you're not coming into school, you can tell your um, parents or whoever looks after you about anything online. Could be that you've seen something that made you feel uncomfortable, it could be that you've received a message and you don't know what to do. It could be that someone's asking to meet up with you in real life. If you're ever worried or you don't know what to do, you can speak to a grown up. OK, so are you as smart as a smart bot? Let's just go through those smart things again. Remember that S stands for safe. M stands for meeting. Remember, we shouldn't be meeting people online if we don't know. A stands for accepting. Don't just click on everything that's sent to you. Check. Who's it from? Does it seem strange? Be careful. Don't click on those links. R stands for reliable. Is the information you're getting on the internet reliable? Is the person that you're chatting to online really who they say they are? And the last one, really important, tell. If you're not sure about anything, you tell someone. So I hope that was useful. And remember, stay smart online because if we stay smart we can really really have lots of fun online okay well that's the end of my assembly today again like i said the internet is an amazing invention it brings so much joy to everyone around the world and it's connecting us in a way that people have never been connected before and all we need to do is remember to stay smart online if we stay smart and do the things that I've just talked about, then you can use the internet safely. You can have so much fun on the internet. You can unlock so much, okay? So if you have any questions about staying safe online, you can put some, if you're watching this on Facebook, you can put some comments in the section below and I'll, I'll definitely be able to help you. But remember, stay smart, just like the smart bots.
All right. I'll see you soon for another assembly. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.